I want to go over a couple of true, false misconceptions, myths about Seattle and Seattle area in general. Let's read through them. Seattle gets the most rain. This is true and false, okay? The number of days that we have rain is pretty extensive, but in terms of average precipitation per year, we are by far not the top city for that. We are behind cities like Syracuse and Philadelphia in terms of actual rainfall. That said, we have many consecutive days of drizzly rain. This isn't super heavy rainfall, but it's enough to get you a little damp. So I'm gonna say true and false for that one. We don't use umbrellas here. That is so very true. So, so very true. I would love to say that everyone can use umbrellas and we won't judge, but as a born and raised Seattleite, if I see you using an umbrella in our light drizzly rain, I'm gonna know immediately that you're a tourist. So if you're trying to fit in as a Seattleite, ditch the umbrella, get yourself a good rain hood. <laughs> the city was built, I'm not gonna say the full thing, but the city was built by ladies of the night let's put it this is somewhat true if you want to know more about this you do need to go on the underground tour which is offered in the pioneer square area because you'll learn all about it there if i'm remembering this correctly one of the wealthiest businessmen in seattle way back when was lou graham and lou graham was actually a woman she owned one of the most successful brothels in the seattle area and had a lot of clients she also created a lot of jobs for the women who were otherwise known as seamstresses in that time. Now, because of her bustling business, she was able to fund different things like the rebuilding of Seattle after the Great Fire. Uh, I believe she funded some of the Seattle School District. Just in general, a lot of our city was based on the money that came from the great businesswoman, Lou Graham. I think that's a super fun fact. If you wanna know all the real details, you gotta go on the underground tour for that one. All right, and lastly, the Seattle freeze. I, listen, I'm a born and raised Seattleite. Me personally, I do not think that is a thing. Our city is made up of people from all over the world all over the world. We have transplants, we have born and raised, but most likely you're gonna be meeting someone who is not actually from Seattle. The other thing is that our days, a lot of the days, at least from October to April are drizzly and dark. Are you expecting us to stop on the road and have conversations with strangers? We are just trying to get in, grab our coffee, get back out in the rain so we can get back to the workplace and get out of that weather. I don't think it's so much of a Seattle thing. I think just in general, it is hard to make friends as adults. If you meet anyone who is born and raised from Seattle, I can assure you, you're gonna have a really friendly and warm conversation. Do you have any other Seattle myths or true or falses you want me to answer? Feel free to send me a DM.